All right, let's look at Roger first. So we're going to look at a couple things. First being his initial uh, setup position. Um, as he gets ready for the volley, I want you to look at his back and his shoulders relative to the center, uh, the center service line. And for me, it's just almost per, uh, parallel to the center service line, maybe a little bit short of that. And check it, take a look at where his hands are starting, uh, up above where contact is going to be. This is going to be contact around chest height. So his hands are relatively high because he's receiving kind of a little bit higher ball. So from uh, this setup position, which, which we're going to look at uh, from you, I'm actually going to play this slowly. And I'm going to go back and forth and play it a couple times. I want you to watch it two or three times. And the question I want you to try to answer in your head is, where, what's the primary power source for Roger on this shot? So with that in mind, uh, just watch him go through and hit it. What part of the body do you think is providing the most energy through contact, or maybe force Maybe is a, is a better word? It's body momentum. Okay. We got body momentum stepping through. As he goes through and hits, uh, tell me uh, about his hand and his forearm. Does it feel passive to you or active? Like, does it look like he's manipulating or doing something with the racket or does it look to you like it's relatively relaxed and passive? It's very relaxed. And what- Tell by the impact of the ball and the racket. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the ball pushes the racket back. And then from there, what I want you to notice is this squeeze of the, the shoulder right here. As he separates his hands, his hands are together. You can't quite see his left hand here, but his uh, left hand is on the throat of the racket. And as he transitions forwards with his body and he starts to separate his hands, what he's doing is squeezing his shoulder blades uh, together in the back as his arms uh, separate. And so while his body weight definitely provides a lot of energy, the other main part of the body that's working here is his back and his shoulder as he separates uh, his hands. And so that allows his uh, hand and his forearm to be really, that, that's what allows him to be loose and passive like that. So we're gonna play this slowly, just like we did Roger. And I want you to, I'm sorry that it's a different angle, but I just want you to watch for the same thing. And basically answer the question, where does it look to you like the energy or the power is coming from? Shoulder. Momentum, but I am moving in. You've got that, yeah. The stability is coming from the shoulder. Right. All this is tight mm -hmm. to stabilize, I guess, the racket, which maybe doesn't need stabilization. I want you to look at your hands uh, move after contact. Watch how your hand and your forearm and your wrist moves right after contact. You see how there's uh, this yeah. kind of steer or extension uh, happening. And so there's like contact where the ball pushes the racket back and then your hand and your forearm pushes the, the racket through, which to me indicates that all of this is kind of doing the, the hitting. And so... Hey, it just hit me. I'm going to hit it back. <laughs> That's right. No, I, I get it. And so uh, your setup position is short of Roger's. Um, he was almost uh, parallel yep. to the, the center service line. And so we've got a little bit weaker position to start with that kind of um, throws your arm out in front to kind of feel like it has to do more work. And then I think it's pretty happy to do that and kind of take over. And so most of it's coming from the, the tricep, the forearm, the, the wrist, I think. So what we're going to do is learn how to uh, turn a little bit stronger and then start using this and this to separate and kind of pull together with your shoulder blades instead of making a weaker turn and use uh, this and, and this to kind of create the, the energy on the shot. Move one now is going to be to get your shoulders turned sideways and put ourselves in that stronger position. And the whole point of this is to start to isolate this and this so that we can use that as the power source. So that's uh, kind of move one is just getting ourselves turned strongly. And then move two is going to be to squeeze your shoulder blades together and 
make your arm as passive as possible. So let's see you bring the racket down and across slowly and squeeze your shoulder blades together. Uh-huh. Yeah, right. And leave your hand, let's go back and forth a couple of times. Leave your hand and your forearm as passive as, as possible. Uh-huh. Yep. Good so as you go back and forth now, look at how your hand and your forearm can remain really calm and kind of passive. And now we've got bigger, stronger muscles doing the, doing the work. So now uh, I'm going to wait for you to go from ready position to set up position. And then after you get set here, then I'm going to toss underhand and then you're going to squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yeah. Now squeeze. Good, good, good. Again, I'm going to go over on this side. Set up. Squeeze. Good, good, good. I just want you to imagine your shoulder blades coming together behind you. Set up. Yep. Set up. Good. Nice job. Nice job. Set up. Squeeze. Good. So much stronger starting mm -hmm. position to begin with. Good, nice, good, good, good. Nice, nice, nice. Dude, that, that looks pretty. It looks like there's like spare energy here. Mm -hmm. uh, you kind of see what I'm talking about? Like there's, there's much more uh, flow and freedom to it. And it, you can tell that there's very little effort there's like a athletic margin here. Whereas before it just felt like you were already kind of using up everything, yep. uh, everything you had. So let's look at these really quick. So not quite apples and apples, uh, contact points a little bit different. Let's see how this works. Watch the movement on the racket, on the one on the right first. So first of all, notice how stronger uh, initial body position. This one is setting you up to be able to use that structure in your, your torso and your shoulders. So everything's in line, mm -hmm, the back mm -hmm. of the mask behind it. Yep. So watch, let's watch this one. Watch the hand and the racket and just overall the movement of the, of the body. And then bring your eyes back to uh, to this one again, and watch how the arm and the racket moves through the ball. Yep. And you can just see the arm is like is working so hard to try to do the work that there's just not a lot there to work with, and so it's it's always going to be rigid and tight feeling. Whereas here we have the option to relax if we want to, and when a hundred mile an hour ball is coming through, we kind of need to do that if all you have is the quick you know kind of jab with uh, with the arm it's really hard to redirect a really uh, aggressive heavy shot coming in okay.